This is day eight of Advent and I will be reading the story of Joshua. It's called A New Home for God's People. After God saved his people from slavery, he led them on a long journey through the desert. How long, you ask? Well, I'm not exactly sure how many miles it was, but the journey took them 40 years. 40 years, that's older than you, for sure. It might even be older than your mum or dad. Go ahead, ask them. Now, if you think 40 years sounds like a long time in the desert, just think how God's people felt. They felt hot, like you do when you go in the ocean, but there was no ocean in sight. It, they felt dirty, like you do after you play outside all day, but with no fun bath to look forward to. They felt hungry, like you do when dinner's taking forever, but the only dinner they got every day was bread. So when God said, all right, enough wandering around the desert, time for your new home. You can imagine how excited they all were. But they were also afraid because the first place God told them to go was Jericho. Jericho was the biggest city any of them had ever seen. With walls so high, it looked like they could reach up to the sky. God's people began to doubt what God had said. They doubted if they would ever live in their new home. They doubted if God was really with them. God's people asked their new leader, Joshua, what to do. Joshua had taken over after Moses had died. And he seemed to know a lot about battles. If anyone knew how to knock down big walls, Joshua did. So he got to work coming up with a plan. That is, until God told Joshua that he had a plan. It wasn't the plan that Joshua expected, but then again, God often does things we don't expect, doesn't he? The most important part of the plan was for Josh Joshua and God's people to be strong and courageous. They needed to believe that God, who they couldn't see, was stronger than the walls of Jericho, which they definitely could see. This was how God's plan worked. Early one morning, Joshua's army put on their armour, took out their swords, and together they went marching, marching, marching around the city. Not one day, not two days, not even three days, but seven days. On the seventh day, God told the people to march around the city seven times. Then, God told everyone to blow their trumpets and scream. And no one could explain it. But just as they screamed, the walls of Jericho began to shake. Then they began to crack. Then they all fell to pieces. The strong walls of Jericho weren't strong anymore. They weren't even walls anymore. That was just one battle that God won for his people. You see, God was with Joshua and his people. Even when it was hard, even when the people doubted if they would find a new home, even when Jericho was scary, God was with them. Years later, when Joshua was old, he reminded God's people of everything God had done. God has been strong for you, Joshua said. If you keep believing he is the strongest, he will keep protecting you. Well, the people said they'd keep believing in God, but it was just like before. They started to doubt whether God was the strongest. They started to think they could make life better without God. They started to push God away. God couldn't remain. Sin drove him away. So Joshua and God's people began to hope and to pray. God, will you come back and stay? Mm -hmm.